friends and neighbors. This is wrong. It's wrong. It's uh, the program on TV. Once again, once again, every day, turn on the machines and live forever. Maybe I should have done this before. I'm doing it now. It's Monday. It's episode 3,800. 4,084. Oh, 20, 22nd today. Wait, now it's all messed up. Now we gotta find the calendar. Look at the calendar. I got this here calendar. You can see. I got all the days of the week, or all the days of the program with the numbers on here. So that's what I'm looking at to find out if the number is right. It's almost time for a new calendar. It seems like I was making this old calendar just yesterday, but today is the 23rd of November, episode 4084. Oh, that's right. That's right. Heather is here. Hello. Hello, Heather. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, you're here. You're here uh, early ish. It's the 20. Wait, what day is today? 22nd. It is the 22nd. The 22nd, not the 23rd. And it is Monday. And I'm looking at the calendar. And it is 4083 today on the 22nd on Monday. Okay. So I didn't do this. I, I was supposed to do this before we start, but I I failed to do this before we started. Oh, I like the way the letters look, the words look. Hey, look at these words. I changed them around. Uh, this is the new intro, so that's this thing. Uh, what did I say? 23rd. Oh, this is right. Right? Is it? The 22nd. This one's right. I didn't change this one, but I did change this one. All right. There. See? Now this is right. And this is right. Hey, what a fun start. Isn't that fun? Woo! I'm sitting here, all right? Yay! Uh, numbers. Number party. Uh, how are you? Uh, Monday. It's Monday. It's a short work week. Yeah. Woo! Do you have a paid vacation? Uh, I, do. I have a Thanksgiving and the day after Thanksgiving off, and then I'm off for the weekend. Yeah, I got I got um a fancy job where I get paid vacations now. Hell yeah! I got the days off, but then they didn't um give you the money. And I, when I they, sometimes I don't know, on Labor Day they're like, hey, everybody, we're giving the am I like. Not, not to, that I'm just in the other place, I did like them, but they're like, um, we're, we're giving all of our workers a break today for Labor Day, because they deserve a break without money, you know? Yeah, that's some not really, bull. Not really giving the, the workers a break, but I get a break, um, and I don't do much anyway, so that's, uh, that's going to be good. It'll be short week, and, and then what are you going to do? Uh, I don't know, not be at work. Yeah. You're gonna go see, uh, your mom? Yeah. Yep, I am. She's right down the street. Uh, we have a turducken, a turducken this year. Is that when you shove a duck inside of a turkey? Uh, chicken and a duck and a turkey or something like that? You take, you like, gut, you gut a duck, or you gut, you gut all three animals, I guess, and then you take the chicken you shove it inside the guts of the duck and then you shove the duck in the turkey it's already stuffed oh you buy it pre pre prepared yeah my my dad bought it for me yeah where i don't know i think he got it on the internet yeah that's um so that's is it tur tur duck oh tur duck kin Chicken is the kin, huh? Yeah. Fair duck kin, yeah. That seems. Yeah, I've never had it before. I think that seems like too much. 
I think I said this in the past, but uh, one bird at a time, please. Oh my gosh! Remember that? Remember that? Um, that day that you were talking about that Gnoki, Gnoshi, or whatever. Gnoki. Gnoki. Yeah. Right. Gnoki. Yeah. Oh my god. I got on my computer the next day and like on the front page of the internet it was like a thing about Noki. Uh, like an article about Noki. You think that they're um spying? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think one bird at a time though. Like I like a good like a bacon cheeseburger, you know? And I really like the, I, they call it the Mick Gang Bang. You ever had that? You know what that is? Oh, yeah, I know about the Mick Gang Bang. Yeah, the bacon. If you want to do that up, like all the way up to, then you get the chicken, beef, and bacon all on there. You can go with the, they call it the Ark and then get the fish on there too, but that seems kind of gross to me. Um, You're not supposed to eat fish from McDonald's. I don't think that's right. Yeah, but then you get the Ark, you put all, every animal at McDonald's. But I think that the birds are not great together. Like, I think they should be separate. I think they taste, they don't taste right together. Like, uh, beef and, yeah, like, bacon burger, classic combo, but like, eating like a little bit of turkey, a little bit of chicken, it's just kind of weird. It's like, oh, this is odd, I think. Uh, I've never even eaten duck before. Not in any way? No. Oh. Never went to a Chinese restaurant? I've been to a Chinese restaurant, but I don't eat duck. Yeah, it's fancy. You gotta get the fancy Chinese restaurants. You ever been to, uh, like, maybe San Francisco? Or, um, you ever been to San Francisco? No. Wow, you could drive there in like eight hours. Probably yeah. Probably more than that. Take my camper. Yeah. You ever been to LA? Have I been to LA? No. Yeah. I think I've been to the airport. Hmm. I went up been down the West Coast a lot of times. How about uh, Vancouver, Canada? Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, I guess maybe Seattle has. Does Seattle have a Chinese zone? Oh, uh, they got. They have a Japanese zone. I guess they have a Chinese zone. They must have duck in Seattle even. But Vancouver and um, Canada and San Francisco have. Hi, Patrick. Is he there? <laughs> he did you? He's, he's yelling at you. He what, heard you. What did he say? Uh, hey, hey. <laughs> he uh, was here earlier and he was like... Oh, yeah? But it was all... You were putting the words together. Oh, okay. I missed it, yeah. Um, yeah, they got the duck in Seattle. It's pretty good. They got it up there. I don't know, there's like very, well, I bet there's even in Tacoma, they probably got it pretty good. For some reason, there's like almost no Chinese places in Olympia Lacey. It's kind of weird. Like downtown Olympia has like five Thai restaurants, but no official Chinese restaurants. Yeah. Why? Jeez. I don't know why it's like that, because Chinese food is like the more classic Asian food, I think, than Thai food, but there's... Like actually like four or five Thai places and the new one even opened up recently too. Like another one? There we, used to be a place that we used to go to when I was a kid called Charlie Chan's and we would always go there for like birthdays and stuff and like get a they'd get our lucky penny. We'd get a like a, a penny in an envelope or something. Yeah. Did they have duck there? Uh, probably. Yeah. They might have duck at California Pizza Kitchen. It's, uh, have you had, um, deer or rabbit or lamb? Uh, I've had deer. Out of all those, I've only had deer. Venison. Hell yeah. You never had lamb, even? No. They have They're lamb. so cute. Too cute to eat? Too cute to eat. What about a duck, though? Mm, I don't want to eat a duck. Oh. <laughs> oh wait, I'm gonna eat a duck! <laughs> yeah, that's what we're talking about. Shit. Or a deer? I, wait, what, what's the other? Oh, a sheep? A sheep? I think a deer is cuter than a sheep. Deer are so cute. Yeah, you ate that. I did eat that. And I mean, cows are cute too. 
I'm I can't think about their faces. Oh yeah, I'm gonna eat eat eat, eat their face. I'm gonna bite it's them. It's like um, it's like I used to really well. I do really like to eat crab and like lobster, but like if I see the lobster or the crab, like I, it's just not as good. <laughs> yeah. He's alive. It's like guilt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, when you meet the crab, but you see the crab's face a lot of the time. I was thinking, mm -hmm. uh, we were talking about eating shrimp the other day. You know when you eat shrimp? Oh, I hate when people. Oh my god! Sometimes you get the places they like still have like the legs on them and shit. Yeah, you got too much. You gotta throw out too stuff. much. But when you eat a shrimp, if you eat like popcorn shrimp, you're eating like like 30 animals. You know? Um, but if you, get like a, if you get like a bucket of chicken, there's like four or five chickens in there. You know? Damn. Yeah. You gotta, I think you gotta kill something. You never killed that thing? To eat it? Uh, I can't kill things. Yeah, I, oh, uh, it seems like you might be uh, animal, I mean, I, I did, I think that like Patrick and maybe you would be into, uh, butchery <laughs> on the side. I mean, you see no. a lot of people dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> I killed a <coughs> I can't kill stuff. Like, if I had to kill my own food, I would just have to eat vegetables. Oh, yeah? I've killed a chicken, uh, for my friend had, like, a, a killing party, I guess, basically. Excuse me? We killed a chicken. He had a chicken. Had Your some... friend had a killing party? Kinda. I don't know if that was the name of it, but he had a bunch of chickens. And we killed them and ate them. Who's coming in here? Yeah. I G T Y. What? Who that? Who that? I G T Y. Ready. Was Freddy there for the killing party? Freddy was not allowed to the meeting. Freddy, come back again. Mm. Uh-oh. I'm going to get a Laffy Taffy. Or a Airhead, or whatever. Freddy, come back. I uh, didn't allow you in time. All right, well, that's too bad. Well, I guess what am I going to do? Go sit back on the couch? Can you hear me? Anyways. Um, am I sitting on the key? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess I'll, wait, I'll call Freddy tell him to come back. Um, uh, yeah, we, there was a party. We had some chickens, and we killed the chickens. The hatchet. And I, I watched, uh, um, I didn't do it myself, but I watched him kill a pig. And then they ate the pig later on, too. No. I think you should. If you're going to eat eat it, you should uh, basically have to do it once. Or you're not allowed to eat it anymore. Mm. Hi. You've reached Freddy Dobler. Well, well, I can't come to the phone right now. Freddy, I missed him. What um, is happening? I was calling Freddy because I missed him on here. I was going to tell him to come back. But, uh, I, what am I going to do? Just back on the couch? Oh, but then I'm going to come over here. That's, mm -mm. Uh, well, that's okay. I'm over here now. Um, yeah, there, there's, uh, it's good, but the duck, I was, anyway, I, I was going to say that duck is kind of gamey, which is the same kind of flavor as rabbit and lamb and, um, Deer has this weird game flavor, which is a weird flavor that is hard to describe. Uh, almost kind of like a rubbery kind of taste. That's weird. Yeah, it's a hard to describe kind of taste. Um, I don't think it's. What's that dish that's like people aren't supposed to make it, and it's something that they do where they make yeast like really fat? It makes, um, frog gloss? Yeah. Yeah, I think frog, frog, uh, frog gloss, frog gloss, and I think they, like, 
they like don't let it move and then they like feed it weird food and then its liver is gets weird. They give it food that makes its liver huge and then they take out the liver and then they blend the liver. And then you yeah. eat it like a dip or something. I think they just put it on bread, but like it's like sick goose liver. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty crazy, but so is everything. What they start thinking. Or like, you know, veal. Baby baby cow. Baby cows, but then they, they, they don't let the cow the babies like move very much. Like from when they're born they like yeah, sad, sad stuff. <laughs> well, where is it? Is it real? I like stuffing. Okay. Stuffing and making uh, uh, Thanksgiving food ahead of time? No, he's making, I think he's making pork chops. Mm. Yeah. With apples. <laughs> pork chops. Stuffing. Like a pig. You gotta kill a pig. Um. But like, uh, what was I saying about oh, veal? Yeah, it's a sad story. You want to hear about the sad story of veal? Yeah, you do? let's hear it. Well, this episode is brought to you by PETA. Yeah, they, well, I, I mean, I'll eat it <laughs> if it's there. <laughs> I probably wouldn't order, it's kind of weird, but they, they like, from the time the baby is born, they like tie it up and they don't allow it to move. And it lives a really horrible life until they kill it pretty young. And then it's soft. Uh, it's really soft because it hasn't had a chance to, like, walk. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yep. That ain't and right. then it's like, wow, this veal is so soft and t tender. But it's like, yeah. Kind of weird stuff. The whole thing is weird, though. It's a weird life. And we're still doing it. Um... Babies would be so soft to eat. Yeah, I mean, that's what a veal is. Eating a baby. But they, uh, kind of makes me think about the whole meat industry during the virus times has gotten pretty weird. They are like, forced in there, and, uh, it's all, it all gets pretty weird. Could you imagine if they really did, like, bring back woolly mammoths, and then there would be, like, this black market for woolly mammoth veal? Maybe, but uh, isn't Willie Mammoth like an elephant, though? Mm. Yeah. But, yeah. Nobody's eating uh, Has anybody eaten elephant? <laughs> Nobody's eating elephants. I don't know. I mean, they're, they're really big. We got a lot of meat. Would you try to eat kangaroo? There's very few things that I wouldn't eat if it was in front of me that was just like for free. Mm. As long as it's food. If it counts as food, I'm not going to eat things that's not food, you know, like weird things. But if somebody's eating it and they're like, hey, this is food, like I'm eating this as food, will you eat this? I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm not going to eat like just like, like extreme craziness, like nasty bugs like Joe Rogan. Like if they were crickets or something? If the That's crickets, pretty. If the crickets were food, they're like, hey, this is food crickets, I would try it. Yeah. And if they're like, hey, these are alive weird crickets or something. No. Yeah. I would, I had a chocolate ant, I believe. Um, never the crickets up. Uh, I don't know about the turducken, though. I'm not gonna... It doesn't, doesn't taste that good when you mix them like that. Where's, uh, James? I don't know. You see him all week? Probably with his boyfriend. Getting busy. He's, or he's very busy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um... You're gonna have to call him. Yeah, should we have left, let, let, let him be a call to show up or not? When was the last time you talked to him? Monday, <laughs> when we were here. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Yep, so he is being busy, huh? Yeah. 
I wonder, I wonder what Freddy was getting on here for. Sometimes Freddy gets on here because um, of problems. And he's like, Freddy, hey, Freddy's like, hey, there's a problem. You should fix it. And then, he, and the, now I don't know. Now I think there's a problem. Huh. But, uh, you can hear me, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. How was your week? Mm, it felt like it was forever long. It's just been so busy. Oh. A lot of people are dying? Yeah. Like, how come you take a day off? Like, what are they... Because no, you do the, uh, the funerals, you don't have to deal with the bodies, huh? What? Like, how do you take a day off? Like, death doesn't take a day off, you know? There's other people to pick up the bodies. You're, you're, that's all beyond your pay grade now. They got interns and stuff to do the pickups. We got workers. You don't do the pickups anymore. You just plan the parties. Yeah, just plan parties. No, I just did a pickup yesterday. I wasn't on call, but sometimes yeah. shit needs to get done, I guess. Do you have to physically pick them up? Like over my shoulder? Well, I don't know however you do it. I'm just kidding. I mean, they're usually like uh, in a chair or a bed, right? Yeah, and then you bring in a cot. You have your cot, you're like, doo doo doo. I put my little gloves on. Yeah. And then I either get a sheet or plastic. And then get them all wrapped up. And then move them over to the cot and get them seat belted in for safety. <laughs> Where your seat put them back do in the car. Do they have their own seat belt or just putting them like the. They car seatbelt on them. They have their they're like seat belted into the cot. Yeah, yeah. Um. They got I don't know. It's kind of uh, uh, weird things. They already got rigor rigor mortis by the time you get there, or is that later? Sometimes they do. Yeah. Sometimes they're still like real warm. Oh, wow. Um. I wonder. <laughs> Oh, yellow bell's here. Have you ever... Has anybody ever called you before they were dead? And then yes. They're like, yeah? They're like, hey... This oh, wait, person's... sorry, I should let you finish your question. Like, this person's gonna about to die. Like, we're pretty sure. Like, maybe you should mm. get on your way over here. <laughs> like... People will, like, call and, like, try to set up the whole funeral before the person's dead. Yeah. Hey, yellow fellow. Why are we in the bathroom? Uh, I don't know, just hanging out. You hanging out in the Is bathroom? Is this your bathroom? No, I'm at my mom's house. What's above the toilet? Is that a mirror? Above the toilet? Or it's um, a cabinet? No, it's like a cabinet. It's a Does cabinet. it go into the wall? I think so. Yeah. What's in there? Toilet paper? Yeah. It's a narrow bathroom. My own is. No, I haven't been actually. It's just a, a quiet room. Everyone's sleeping. What are you doing at mom's house? It's nighttime, right? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> we had some nachos. Yeah. Are you going to be there for a while? Are you going to go back there for Thanksgiving? Yeah, I think I might stick around a little since it's like the holiday, you know? Yeah. Oh. Get some. Uh... <laughs> Freddy. He was here on the trying to get on the meter earlier. Hello. Hey, program. Hey, Freddy, how are ya? Oh, I'm okay. It's uh, you know, day two of the booster. I got my booster yesterday. Yeah. And I'm been kind of feeling pretty miserable all day, but um, you know, mm -hmm. doing okay. Other than that, you know, I mostly wanted to call earlier because. Uh, I had a weird thing happen. There was a guy who we saw him over at our neighbor's house. He looked like he was a kind of a chainsaw guy. He had like a crazy chainsaw hat, but he was like messing out with the electrical panels. And then he showed up at our house an hour or two later, 
Look at my pills. Yeah, I knocked them. Oh yeah, pills. Knocked on the door, and then, um, he said he was from PSC, and he's changing out the, uh, okay. electrical meter. I'm gonna eat like all these that. pills, and then you see? I... Heather? So, good, good pills. Heather? A lot of pills. I see your pills. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get some water. <laughs> okay, wait, what, Freddy? Yeah, the, I... the electrical guy? Yeah, and then... I did remember that there was like a note in the mailbox or something saying from PSC that that was going to happen. So I was like, oh yeah, that sounds legit. He goes around the side of the house and we say, yeah, go for it, man. And he goes around the side of the house. We see him out in the backyard and he's like looking around for the electrical box. Can't find it. Um, but I know where it is. And I was like, oh, I'll show you. And I'm like, he can't have to come back on the other side of the house. And then he said, I found this wallet in your yard. <laughs> and it and it was my wallet. My wallet had fallen out of my pocket like in the backyard I think <laughs> sometime. So it's just been sitting out in the rain for the last like three or four days. Oh no. Is it usable? Is it still usable? So, um I think so. I got everything kinda of laid out and drying in the kitchen right now. But it's uh Is that kind of a relief, I guess, you know, I'm I'm relieved. Oh. It was just in the in the um lawn. Yeah, just in the lawn. Not what I was expecting, you know. The, the I, I definitely thought um I had lost it somewhere along the way. I really thought maybe it was in the grocery outlet parking lot or something, but um you know, it was just at my house the whole time. I kind of remember how it could have happened too, because when I got home, I kind of started working on this woodworking project, and I store a lot of the extra wood under the deck and you kind of have to crawl under the deck to get it but I bet it kind of slipped out of my pocket when I was doing that and just didn't even realize it had fallen out so yep so that's the end of that story it all worked out wow how's your photos my what your personal photos y'all thought I don't want to look at the toilet you don't want to look at the toilet I anymore I don't want to look at the toilet Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, what kind of toilet is that? Is that a American Standard? What what brand is it, yellow fellow? I uh, it's just Bemis. Bemis. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bemis. Bemis. Yeah. Bemis the toilet. The old Bemis. Good deal. Well, yep. Uh, the re irreplaceable photos are fine, and then I, when I told Madeline about it, I was like, this is what I was most proud about losing. She said, oh, I've actually got duplicates of those. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, they, weren't even, they weren't even irreplaceable, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, brother, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, you're, feeling, you're feeling body aches and stuff? Yeah, definitely. I, like, uh -huh. took some ibuprofen in the middle of the day, and I felt, like, mediumly okay. But I, I literally just, like, accidentally fell asleep twice today. I just, like, can't keep awake, kind of. So. And I'm achy. Last night was crazy. It was not as bad as uh, the first thing the first time. Although I think it has all to do with the timing. Because I basically just woke up at 2 a.m. last night. Which is kind of what I thought would happen. Because I got the shot, like about 12 hours before that mm -hmm. and then it started to really hurt and like crazy dreams and but now today I'm just like super body ache and just really tired but your arms sore you know that means it's working I'm almost yeah. almost boosted I'm extra boosted yeah I had it pretty I'm feeling pretty much all the way I mean all the way better at this point yeah that's great yeah, I have another day off tomorrow, but I, I figure I'll be back to it. But I really haven't accomplished much of anything today. I guess I read, I did some reading. And I finished a book. Well, but... healing, healing is what thing. Oh yeah, thank you. I could remember. I, yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't really like this. Every, like during the virus times, everybody kept saying like, "Hey, I mean, I guess it, it is, <laughs> it is okay." But they're like. If you're not doing anything, that's fine, you know? Mm-hmm. 
and that which is yeah. a, a nice thing to say. But I, they should have like been like, hey, if you're not doing anything, draw, you know? Yeah. Like. Yep. Like do it something, and then we could add a lot of things, you know. You could do a lot of things. There's plenty of things to do. Yeah. But uh. Let's I see. guess you like Heather, not doing take, things. You don't need the, and then you're like, you need the booster because you or you didn't even get it six months ago. Uh, I don't know. I, it definitely hasn't been six months. You gotta wait six months. How about you, y'all? Thought when when when? It's been six months for you. Probably Since not. What? Huh? Since what? Uh, vaccine. Uh, I think I got it in May. May, June, July, August, September, October. It is. You could get the booster, maybe. Booster. I don't know. Yeah, I really thought about it much. Mm. I, I went to a booster. diner today Woo! with my friend Mary Beth, and uh, we got there, and we were getting uh, takeout, and there's another Mary Beth in front of us uh, in line. Who uh, paid for our takeout? Like by accident? Stream. Yeah, because she was also Mary Beth. Which one uh, was more expensive? Oh, you, so you didn't have to pay for it? No, so we had to like, we paid for each other's takeouts, and then we just like gave each other the difference. But I thought that was weird because I don't think there's that many Mary Beths out there. Yeah, mm -hmm. not really. That's two names. Paying for each other's takeouts, you know. Uh, what kind of food was it? I got like a veggie omelet, and uh, it was kind of so-so. It was a uh, it was called the Jukebox Cafe. Mm. It had like pictures of like Marilyn Manson and like Marilyn Monroe and like Marilyn. Uh, yeah, that's why I meant to say Marilyn Monroe. But oh my God, Marilyn Manson, he's a bad guy. Apparently. That would be a good cafe. It was, well, <laughs> but it, you it, hear he's he's a bad guy for real. He doesn't just play one on TV. Marilyn Manson. Did you hear about Marilyn Manson? I heard that he um, he like. Wore pink and like a pink cop uniform, and he had that scary, uh, like a, uh, a bad girl room or something. Well, well he did real things, so he's trying to be scary on on TV. Oh, that's no, a Marilyn thing, Manson, right? He's he got he just got like called out for being like a creep, a big like a big time abusive guy. Yeah, but isn't that his whole thing? No, no, but like. <laughs> like, actually, like, like, he's been like, really abusive to his ex-girlfriends. Like, the allegations I just came that. out. This is why, that's his whole, his whole deal. He's like, I'm really bad. I know. And then, like, and, yeah, but, and no, but it's, like, bordering on, like, just just in, Marilyn Manson, not a very nice guy. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, not a good person the image. Debate. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's, yeah. You're like gonna go. You're like, <laughs> if you're getting with, I mean, yeah, I mean, this is, I, I don't want but to. Apparently, he had um, like a, a he had like a containment room in his home where he'd like keep his, like he wouldn't let his girlfriends leave yeah. the room. Definitely do not condone victim blaming or something. But if you go yeah, to Marilyn something. Manson's house, you might have to look out for a, a hey, dungeon. Don't, hey, yeah, hey, don't lock your girlfriends in a room. <laughs> yeah. Well, look out a... for a dungeon. We're like, hey, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. look out for guys who have dungeons for you. It's like you're showing up to a guy with, uh, you know, with like s makeup, like scary, like like spooky makeup. Yeah, look out for those guys. Uh, <laughs> what do you call those things? He's got, a uh, he's got like a colored. I think he's got like uh, white contact, so you can't see his eyes. Yeah, if you can't see it, they might have a dungeon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. It'll yep. Spooky. Um, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to resting. Good night. All right. Thank you, Freddy. Bye bye. Feel, feel better, Freddy. Will do. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I got the booster. I got the booster on. Um, Thursday, and it messed me up pretty good for a while, but now I'm fine. Mm. Well, that's your feeling better too. That's good. Or Freddy's not feeling better, I guess. What do you eat for uh, Thanksgiving, a uh, vegetarian family? Well, I just came up with an idea for what I want to cook today because I'm 
my family always wants to cook like the like the tofurkey stuff and I'm really yeah. sick of that. Yeah, so I said I'm gonna make a it's like a lentil um and mushroom and like veggie like pie. Like a pot pie thing. Or not pot pie, but what's it called? Like a oh no, like a lentil like shepherd's pie thing. Casserole? No, it's gonna be like it's in a yeah, in a casserole dish, but I'm gonna cook like lentils and like mushrooms and like garlic and all these veggies and, and I'm gonna put like uh, mashed potatoes on top and bacon in the oven. So it's gonna be like a shepherd's pie but like uh, lentil forward instead of a thing. Lentil forward pie. Lentil forward. Forward going forward with Bean lentil. Pie. And um, that I'm excited to cook that. That'll be that would be tasty. I don't like to, I, I don't wanna cook eat like fake meat stuff anymore you know? yeah that sounds it's really good. nasty mm -hmm. so yeah. that's what i'm gonna do and mm. like lentil loaf is a, lent, lentil loaf is a popular option for like yeah. people who don't really eat meat but it comes up comes out dry a lot so that's why i want to do this like earlier um me and heather were talking about eating weird animals and stuff mm -hmm. and i i said that i would eat pretty much anything that was counted as food but maybe not mm -hmm. that stuff. <laughs> like, a, like what, like yeah. humans? Huh? Like humans? No, like a fake, uh, one of those fake hot dogs. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, actually, like those things, like actually, like I'm like yeah. even thinking about it makes me kind of like, uh, like wretched a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting sick. I'm sick home. Yeah. Why are you in the bathroom? Oh. Just better sound. Oh. Uh, Contained sound. I don't know. Everyone's sleeping. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, we got some messages from Mark, guitar player. Yeah, it's here. <laughs> yeah. He's doing good. Now. Hi, Kenny. Hi. Hi. Uh, hi, Kenny. Hi. hi. You know, I'm not doing so good right now. Oh my God. I don't know what's going on. So. This is Mark. Yeah. Park and Becca. Oh, no. I like there's so many people out there walking around. So they look like you want to put a pitchfork in my butt. Whoa. <laughs> kind of weird. Yeah, I'm smoking again. I'm not going to lie about it. Nope. Oh. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie about it. So. He's smoking. I'm smoking a cigarette right now. Oh, yeah. That be what's going on. I know what's going on, but we don't like you. Have you have a towel on your head? To tell you. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> like, you lie, you don't have any hair. <coughs> I know. <laughs> what, what, what are you doing that for? I'm just lying down. Alright. Pretty painful. Marks and night, it's okay. Uh, okay. Mark's getting, um... No, it's not okay. Oh, Mark. Oh, Mark. Mark, are you having a... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm okay if I'm smoking cigarettes. Because there's <laughs> nicotine, it's actually calming me down. You guys don't know anything about it because you don't smoke. You have no idea. You've never smoked, so what the hell? Smoked a few in my day. Why would you know anything about cigarettes? Like cigarette but never like you. I know Mark. Mark at his peak was smoking like more than a pack a day. So. I thought he was gonna quit. He quit. Like, he, yeah, I mean, he or, said he keeps saying he's gonna quit, and then and then he'll sometimes he'll be lying, and then sometimes he'll be. It's hard to tell where he's at with it. Trying to vent out to a machine. That's kind of weird. Yeah, venting to uh, the answering machine. Shoot. Anyway, when I play guitar, I yell out. Other left, think I'm him. weird. I'm back. Oh, good. And stuff. <laughs> I had to get rid of my guitar, I put it by the garbage can, and put my amp by the garbage can, what? and somebody took it. Probably took it. 
hope they can use yeah. it for something. <laughs> He's calling at like 3.30 a.m. too. Yeah, I'll probably I'll have to stop calling you guys. Like, Why? You guys don't want to hear my voice anymore. Yeah, my like, that's good at all. Yeah. Yeah. You are pissed off at me. Everybody's pissed yeah, off at me. Stuff, I think God's even pissed off at me. Yeah. Mark has no hope. Mark's getting a little Mark's dark, but also he's getting a little whiny. <laughs> <So, laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes me. Alright, I get whiny when I'm leaving US. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, it's Mark, hard to think of what to talk about sometimes. See, whining is always a good option. Yeah. It's a, oh, it's a fine line. Oh, James, hey! Yeah, Hello! What's up? Hey, Jim, how are ya? Hey, Jim. Hey. Hey, Seattle. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was gonna be in Tacoma, but I'm stupid. What? And oh. I left my stuff here when I left, and then I, and I, so I was locked in here, so I waited. You were locked in? What? No, I was locked out. Because when I left, I don't have a key, and I left my stuff in here. Oh, okay. So I came back to get my stuff. I was going to be in Tacoma, but now I think I'm just going to stay here again. <laughs> you were going to go catch a bus or something? No, I was going to get a ride. But, yeah. You got to get a key. Yep, so anyways, what's okay. up? Yeah. Who's that person laying on the ground? Uh, hey. Yellow fellow. Oh, why are you laying on the ground? <laughs> From laughing? From laughing? Relax. Oh, relaxing. Noise. On the bathroom, it seems a little, uh... Quiet, it's quiet in here, I won't lay down. And then the, the, the towel is a pillow? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... You ever had duck, James? What? You ever eaten duck before? Yeah, I have. Peking duck? Yeah. Yeah, me too. That's all around. That's all around. And I had duck at, um... A Vietnamese restaurant. I don't know what what kind of duck it was. It's just some kind of duck. I like duck. I I I never had duck all the orange. That's funny. Orange. Like, orange duck. It's like almost That's like it seems like French food. You know, so popular on TV. But I've never even had or seen French food before. I mean, I think I've seen duck all the orange on like a Chinese. No a duck. That's orange, like orange chicken or something. Mm -hmm. Duck all around, that's like Julia Child's thing. Oh. Duck all around is French for sure. Alright. Julia Child's yeah. thing is beef, um, bougainville, or bougainville. <laughs> bougainville. Something like that, that's what she said. Beef bougainville? Beef bougainville. That's what she said. Beef bougainville. Beef. Um, have you ever had French oh. food? Or seen French food? Oh. I have. French restaurant. Oh, French food. French. Yeah, there's lots of, um, there's French restaurants. Where? Ones that... Uh, I mean, I know there are some. I mean, I went to the I go to them, but I know they're there. <laughs> I was a prep cook, and they wanted everything, uh, every vegetable, like, uniform. I had to cut, like, beets that we would steam into perfect cubes for our beet salad. Like, the cubes had to be perfect, or they'd throw them away. Yeah, maybe... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not... Classy enough for French food, but I don't want to be anyway. Probably not. <laughs> the oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're a bunch of goofy guys. <laughs> I don't. I don't care for the French. <laughs> Do you remember when they like it was all tension yeah, well, after like yeah, tension yeah. after like uh, 9 11 and we stopped calling French fries French fries. We called them Freedom fries for a little bit. Remember that? Yeah, who calls them French fries anyway? I mean, Everybody calls them French fries. fries. James, it, James be looking very French, Who's but that? he should be like, oh, oh, oh. You said I look yeah. French? Yeah. I don't think so. Who ever, yeah. Whoever's going to say, hey, I would like to order a medium French okay. fries. They're just fries. You call them fries. You don't call them French. I hear French fries. I hear French fries a lot. Uh, you guys got, got French fried potatoes there? <laughs> like, uh, you'll see people really? say French fries. They're just fries. Oh. Fry fries. Freedom fries. I say French fries sometimes, but usually I just call them fries. I just call them fries. I never say French. But maybe I don't like. I don't want to. Yeah. You know, I was there. Yeah. 
They got some good cultural stuff going on. Really French. No. Um, I don't know. What if they don't feel like French fries? Did they eat there in France? I like creme brulee. But do they call them French fries? Creme brulee. Oh. Yeah, I, I used to have to. I would used to unload torch the top of the creme brulee. I would creme brulee really? the place I worked. Yeah, not that. Yeah. It looks like it's coffee spicy. I never had that either. Did they eat it that way? Mm-hmm. Y'all in France. Um, they have McDonald's, and they still call them French fries. And they're so classy there that they eat. They get you get a tiny little plastic two prong fork to eat them with. What? What's even doing in France? I don't know. You went to France. No, I wasn't in France. Yeah. My friend went to France before. Yeah, I know. What's going on with him? He went on a vacation. <laughs> I don't know. It was a long time ago too. I think, right? Oh, four years ago. Not a long time. Kenny, did you stop using the echo effect in your voice? I was gonna say, are you doing this on purpose, Kenny? What? Turning off the echo? <laughs> this, 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 this. There, there, there. Yeah, yeah. Keep it. I miss the echo. You like the you echo? echo? I, I, I echo. miss. I've been missing the echo. Yeah. Oh my god. It's so hard to understand already. Yeah. 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 I got, I got a, lot a lot of complaints about, about it, so I turned it off. And... I think you should keep some level of echo. Though. Medium? Some more medium, medium level? Yeah, echo. I, well, I did, like, I got people out of the woodwork, like, I remember at the restaurant, some people were telling me, they're like, hey, the echo is going on. I'm like, you're watching the show? Like, <laughs> yeah. Do you still have, like, the suburb, submarine noises in the bird? Oh, yeah, where's the birds? Are you talking about the buoys and the waves? Yeah. What about it? They've been here. I don't hear them. Oh, they're there. They they are there. I don't. I I think they're not in the um. Wait, not, I think I hear birds now. They're not like directly the... in the mix of <sighs> to you. Oh, that makes sense. But if you watch the program, it's still definitely there. Um, you can definitely. It's like sometimes it's hard to tell. Until it's gone, and then you're like, hey, wait a minute, what's going on? Something's wrong, you know? But I can hear it when it was just me and you talking. Yeah. I always have Because there was more silence. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, it's, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> um, what'd you have for breakfast, Kenny? What did I have for breakfast? Oh. Yeah, he pulled the ones you had for breakfast hey, on you. I ate peanut butter crunch and coffee. Uh, I had mix it with your coffee, though. Peanut butter crunch and coffee, and for lunch I ate like uh, um uh in frozen Indian food from Trader Joe's. Last week I went to Trader Joe's and bought like like a lot of frozen food for my lunches because I work from home now. Mm. So, um, yes. um, I did, yeah. I'm becoming like now that I have like a nine to five government job, I'm just like basic. I've become basic. I'm, I'm driving. I'm eating. I'm eat, I'm going to bed at like at like eleven. I'm eating like Trader. I'm going to Trader Joe's. You want this? Basic, basic. It's not the way I envisioned my life going, but it's what happened to somebody, me. Somebody at work with uh, their boyfriend threatened me. They got Trader Joe's in um, Philly or wherever area? Yeah. yeah. They do? Yeah, we do. Uh huh. I like them. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? What did you eat for breakfast, James? I had um, a very. Very um, filling breakfast of sausage, bacon, um, corned beef hash, a fried egg, a hash brown, and uh, I made carrot cake this morning. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I know. It was a lot. Is that like corned beef hash in a can? Yeah. You had three meats? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> three meats. That's meat and potatoes. Yeah. I bet he had a fourth meat too. <laughs> yeah, that's what you did. You hear that? The busy. We've been saying that you're getting you're busy, James, because you haven't been here very much. 
Dizzy? Oh, busy? Busy. We're like, Jim's is busy or getting busy. That's what we've been joking about. I know. It just seems that every time you go on, because it's not at 8 now, it's earlier when I'm doing things still. Yeah, okay. I'm not settled anywhere usually by that point. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, now it's like, now it seems, it seems like everybody should be, this is the evening because of, uh, the darkness and stuff. Well, yeah, now that it's dark as fuck, there's, yeah, now it'll be more regular. Yeah. Uh, that's a, yeah, that's what we're talking about, like, the turducken. Turducken? I never had that. We're having it for Thanksgiving. You are? Mm-hmm. Ashley always wanted to make one, but... I don't think, I, I, I think one bird at a time, like, I've, I've said this before in the program. Like, like, I, this is what I was saying earlier. Bacon cheeseburgers, that's real good, you know, that's two animals, but, like, for some reason, what? chicken and turkey at the same time seems really weird. Yeah. You think so? Um, it is kind of weird, like, I don't know why anybody would have ever thought of it, but it's was catchy, and it caught on, and, uh, you remember it. Yeah. And you like to say turducken. <laughs> yeah, you can buy it, I guess you can buy it pre-stuffed. I saw, th I saw today they have, um, uh, yesterday they have, um, butters that are s carved into the shape of turkeys. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I was like, what? It's like butter, a butter sculpture. <laughs> I've seen that of, like, uh, like bunnies. Really? Yeah. I've never seen it before. I was like, oh my god, this is so cool. Is it sculpted like a live turkey or a, like a meat turkey? Like a live turkey. Oh. Like a meat turkey? Ew. <laughs> like a carcass? Like a meat turkey. Yeah. I think I would rather have it shipped like the, the meat turkey because... Because... What? That's what food is. I'd rather have it. I think it should be the meat turkey because live turkey is not the food. But the turkey is cute. Yeah, it's cuter when it's alive. Uh, I don't know. Have you ever seen turkeys alive? Yeah, they're cute. I don't think so. They're goofy looking little things. They are goofy as shit. They are good. <laughs> That's I mean, Kenny. <laughs> chicken, yeah. chicken, chicken. Why is there like that weird buzzing? Well, I'm hearing it yeah. also. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, turkeys are weird and ugly. I think they're a little ugly. Wow, that those are strong words. You feel very strongly about the appearance of turkeys. <laughs> yeah. To say that they're ugly. Then they got weird heads. Why do they got bald heads? Weird heads. That kind of I think you have a weird head. head. They have those balls on their face. <laughs> yeah, didn't that sound mean? It did, what? but I'm, uh, um, I uh, understand words. I said that he had a weird head. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's saying turkeys had weird heads. I understand words. Well. They probably think that we're weird. Turkeys don't understand words. But then, well, how come they don't have, like, uh, all, most birds have, uh, hair, I mean, not hair, but, uh, Feathers? Feathers on their head, but turkeys are bald. I guess I have a bald head too. Are they all <laughs> totally bald? I don't think so. No? I don't know. I'm gonna. I know you hate this. Yeah, turkeys are bald. Yeah. They are? Dude, look it up. I am. I think they are. <laughs> I think that's just in cartoons. Um, they probably have like. like little, like. Baby furs. <laughs> Little fuzzies. Are you gonna go, go see your grandma for Thanksgiving? Your, your stuff is sounding crazy. Yeah, I know. I don't know why, why. Are you gonna go see your grandma, James? Yeah. How's she doing? I haven't, I haven't seen her, but I'm going on for Thanksgiving. I know she was having, like, she they didn't let her, her, they didn't let her in the hospital or something, right? Did she ever... That was a while. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure exactly what happened with that. Nothing. Because my, my mom was staying there for a while. My mom was bought a house up here. She's gonna be moving up here very soon. She in the university place. Um, Seattle. No, in university place in near Tacoma. Oh, yeah. She she come being back up from um, Portland because she was in Portland. So she was moving up to. She's been staying at my grandma's house during the week, and then going back to Portland on the weekends. But now she's got her own place. Uh, uh, with uh, her husband or whatever. 
But she must have, yeah. Cool. She lived here before because you grew up here with her, right? Like, when... Yeah, she did live here, but she's lived in Portland now for like, since a little after I met you, I think. Oh, yeah, okay. 2011, 12 ish? Yeah, something like that. It's been 10 years, James. I know. But I haven't talked to you for like eight of them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, it was just sporadic. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm queuing up the message of the future tape. Okay. Message. Message to the future tape. <laughs> what? You all fell. You 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 fall off the thing. You fell asleep on the floor. I think he might have the floor. I think he might have fallen asleep on the bathroom floor. Hmm. He's interesting. Yeah. yeah. He's always so surprising. All right, here goes. Hey, future. It's us, the past. Hey. Hello, future. We're in the past. We're talking about two duckins. Yep. Yo, I'm gonna have to be in it. Yo, I fell asleep on the bathroom floor. Freddy found his wallet. What did you have to say, James? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, <Peter. laughs> Nothing. Patrick's, Patrick's family is in Utah, right? Uh, yeah. So you're gonna, is he gonna go to your mom's? Yeah. You know, this is like. The holidays have always centered around my grandmother because uh, nobody else cares that much, I think. Mm -hmm. So we're all like, hey, what's grandma going to do? And now this is like the first holiday season since uh, she's dead, and it's kind of weird. It is hard when, it pe when your family members die, then the holidays become weird. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happened yeah. now. So I don't know. I don't even know what we're going to do. Like, hey, nobody yeah, really cares, right? Like, first. Yeah. yeah. Now what are we doing? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's coming up. Hey, good times. Oh, maybe we should call Mark. We only got about four minutes left, but he was sounding pretty weird. Did you hear the message, James? Or you hear yeah, message? I did. Ready? Sort of. All right, well, I guess I'm going to call him back because he was sounding like... I guess basically like despondent. Like a sad boy. Yeah. <laughs> Cheer up, Mark. What are you eating? Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos? <laughs> About talking. <laughs> never had them. Oh, what? You know, never heard that song? <laughs> you know uh -huh. the Hot Cheetos and Talkies song? No. Hot Cheetos and Takis. Hot Cheetos and Takis. Got my phone. Sorry, you cannot leave a message for 360. You should look it up and eat some Takis too. They're good. Nah. I've been looking for. Mm -mm, I've never had them. No, so you're not going to eat Takis? You're not going to look up the song either? No. I've been trying to find these bird nests from Trader Joe's. Bird nests? Like these vegetable bird nests. What do you mean vegetable? Um, I need to put the picture up here. It's like how uh shoot, like it kind of makes me think of a tempura situation, but not. Oh, it's like like fried noodles, hard noodles mm. that are in like a bird nest shape. Ugh. No. Okay. Um. No. Well, it's these. Oh, sorry. What? Hold on. I'm not looking now. Uh, where? What? Um, these. These uh, things here. Uh, bird nest is not a good name for food. No, but like that bird nest soup, that Asian stuff, that shit's gross. And bird, bird nest drink, all those bird nest drinks. Have you ever tried those? No. Kitty? What is that? It sounds really gross. It's literally made out of bird nests. Mm. What? Because what? these Isn't birds make um, nests out of their bit, and then they harvest them and they eat them. Yeah, I thought, thought birds nests were made out of wood. 
No, this is like legitimately the the Asian drinks. Anyways, they're actually like. That is not okay. I know, right? I don't know about that. Yeah. yeah. But the both nest is food. I mean, we're wood. <gasps> what? I bit my tongue. Oh. You gonna get spicy? You gonna get spicy in your tongue? I don't care. It just hurts. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. I want these bird nests though. We got my Trader Joe's? Well, the last time I was there, I couldn't find him. I don't remember seeing that. I was looking around. Yeah, Mark didn't answer. Um, yeah, I want to get some Takis now. <laughs> They're good. You should get some Takis and Cheetos. Yeah, hot Cheetos and Takis. Um, yeah. That's Emily's favorite snack, is Takis. The kid? Yeah. Well, she She'll eat the whole damn bag. She got heavy spice tolerance, huh? No, she doesn't. She says that they're not spicy. They're? But she won't eat anything else that's spicy. I don't even think she'll eat Doritos because she says Doritos are spicy. <laughs> Ducky, I mean. I mean I, I <laughs> She's I weird, but she also can eat a lemon and not wince once. And she won't even like act like it's nothing at all. There's different flavors of uh, Takis, but these are pretty spicy. Ring a ding ding, bitch! Mm -hmm. But it's a different kind of spice, though. It's like that hot, like, whatever it is, tangy spice, rather than like. You got that you know? sweetness in there. It's a different kind of spice. No, they're not. Well, sweet. I don't know if they have a sweetness. I know hot Cheetos do. They're not like hot Cheetos. Well, the show's over. We made it. Yay! Yeah, nice. Thanks, Heather. Thanks, James. Thanks, Yellowfellow. Thanks, Freddie. Uh, thanks, Mark. Hey. Here he goes. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Not guys. It's Monday. We're on TC TV channel 22 11 30 and 2 a.m. Check it out here. What it should be on, on YouTube. No, 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 no. 836 with the rain war. Call me a message. Get on TV. What it should be on dot com. Get on me. Yeah. TCT, I love you. Thank you, TCT, for the baby. Dirty Fat Boys, Red Books, Four Star Radio, Mark Carpenter, Stop Spire, Calm, Rebecca, Mountain Board, Northwest, Ocean County, Washington State. Yes, thank you, and viewers, as you are watching, thank you. <laughs> hey, Sorry. come on. Call me. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah, dog. Bye. Bye. Bye.